Hey Blusher fans, it's Kayla, and today I have a very special guest, Ivan Castro. Hi everyone. And he's gonna teach us how to achieve this red carpet glow moment mm -hmm. right here, right now. Okay, so jumping on in, what is the first step to achieving that red carpet glow? So the first thing you wanna do is try using a machine like this. It's a microcurrent, so this will send microcurrents into the skin. Oh wow. So it's a really great tool to prep your skin before any major event. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the, the gel that you use on your face first. And we're gonna wanna use sort of a thick coat. And we're just gonna glide across. And when you hear that beep, you just do that over again. You do about three to four passes, so it's super easy. And then we we'll do the brow up in the center. One on the widow's peak, and then one on the end. Just like that, you'll hold it. I love that. It did lift my eyebrow, you guys. You can, can you really see, see it, yeah. Now that we've snatched my face, so to speak, without face tape, mm -hmm. we need to... Moisturize. Moisturize. And this one's really nice. It's like a gel type. It's very cooling. And with serums, I feel like you can really go even around the eye area with it. I am going to use a little bit of eye cream. I'm going to use one, again, that's really, 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 really lightweight. This is a tried and true. That was like my first eye cream mm -hmm. I've ever tried. So now that we've prepped the skin, now we're ready to move on to foundation, finally. I'm going to use a cream foundation. Mm -hmm. I love cream foundations for a carpet because they doesn't have that bounce back effect that sometimes you see celebrities. Because you know it doesn't have SPF. It doesn't have SPF in it. Right. This is made for the red carpet. This is HD. And I'm going to use one that's really creamy and really dewy. So this is definitely like your color in the center. So now I'm going to reach in and grab a color that's a little bit darker just to kind of use around the edges, under your cheekbones, and then tie your face color into your neck color, which is really important because what you don't want to look on the red carpet is like the floating face, where it's like one color here and then a different color in your body. So when you first apply a color that's a little bit darker on the skin, turn towards the camera, you're gonna see that it does look a little bit darker initially, but when you, once you start to blend things out, and start blending it down into the neck, it's gonna look really quite natural, so just go for it. And remember, it's just makeup, so you can always go back in and wipe things off and start all over again if need be. I am going to take a little bit of the um, foundation and I'm going to add that to your um, eye area. So I'm going to mix a little bit of light and the, the deep. And this is going to serve again as sort of like a, a base for the shadow to sit on. Okay. Okay. And to so just help to brighten you up a little bit, I can kind of still see a little bit of your veins. And since we're going for this sort of soft, smoky look, we want the eyeshadow to go on a certain way and for it to look really blended and beautiful. And we need for the skin on the eyelid to look really, really even. That's super important. So I'm gonna take a little bit of loose powder with a brush. And we're gonna set that foundation on the eyelid. And I do prefer using a translucent powder, just because what we don't want is for us to use a powder that is, has a color to it, and then you put it on and it changes the foundation. We want to avoid that. We want to make things as easy as possible. So we're going to start with this sort of light, sort of warm color, and it's matte. And we're just going to start on the lid and just gently blend it up and then just blend it up. Because what we're going for is like a really pretty bronzy smoky eye that has maybe a little bit of shimmer to it, but we're gonna add lashes and we're gonna do a really fabulous lip. And then we're just gonna go to the next color, which is um, maybe this color here. We're gonna go with sort of a dark base and then it's gonna turn into like a sunset, almost like an ombre eye, where it's darker at the base and then it just gradually gets lighter as you go up. And again, just take your time, blend upwards, 
and I'm gonna repeat the same on the bottom of the eye to create balance. So it's gonna sort of mirror what's happening on top of the eye. And keep this one a little bit tighter to the lash line. Yes, it's looking so good. I'm gonna use one of my favorite mascaras. And we are gonna do a few lashes just to make the eye appear even more open. So I'm just gonna do a very, very light coat. And what I love about this particular mascara is it's super, super black, so you don't need so much. A little tip when you're doing mascara, guys, like I really like a very fluffy, open lash. So I always like to brush the lashes up in the direction that they grow. So on the inner corner, I use the tip of the brush to sort of push them in towards the nose. In the middle of the eye, I kind of just flick upwards. And then on the outside, we go out. And that creates a sort of like very dimensional, rounded, sort of open, fluffy lash. It's super cool. Put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I think people were going to be like, wait, is he going to do eyeliner? <laughs> Yeah, this is how we do eyeliner, Because I man. was wondering when you were going to do some eyeliner. Oh, we're going to do some eyeliner, but this is going to be a very discreet way of doing eyeliner. We want things to look really soft, right? So we're going to pick up the lash, and we're just going to wiggle a little bit of this black gel from underneath the lash. Oh my gosh, this is such an old school trick, but it really always works. Particularly if your eyes are really, really light. Kayla, you have such pretty hazel eyes. This is really gonna bring your eye into focus and it's not gonna require like a lot of effort. Okay, so we're just gonna let this dry. So instead of using like a white or like a black on the bottom, we're gonna use a bronze color. And this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not glittery, it's more like radiant. And just kind of drag it down a little bit. And since I've already applied eyeshadow underneath the eye, it should just kind of all melt together really easily. So I'm just gonna wiggle some other pencil under the eye and just take my time. So we're gonna do some lashes now. I prefer using a knotted short lash to begin with. And most people's eyes can handle this length. Dip it into the glue and then just kind of leave a little bit of space in between. the next one you guys this takes a little bit of practice to really perfect but once you do it's it really changes the way your eye makeup is gonna look these look so fluffy and natural like I love it right so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the bronzy pencil that I use on the underside of your lash like on the inside of your lash on the bottom and I'm just gonna massage it gently at the base now we're just gonna go back in and just like add a little bit more color, a little bit more shadow just to kind of blend everything together using a really soft touch, a small blending brush. Okay, so now we're gonna use a little bit of cream foundation that's a little bit lighter than your skin under your eye. So we're just gonna clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up. Oh, it looks pretty flawless. It's okay to go a little bit lighter here for a lot of people, sometimes beigier or a little bit warmer, a little bit more golden. It works well under the eye. One of the questions that we always get all the time from the blusher audience is how to contour. Yeah. Um, in this situation for red carpet makeup, do you even contour? Yeah, we contour a little bit. I think, again, we're trying to create a look that is, you know, stunning, but it's not gonna look like overly made up. But contour is good. I think the key with contour is you gotta find the product that you feel the most comfortable with. I really love using a cream contour on most of my clients. It just makes it really easy because I usually typically only use a cream foundation. So I feel like cream on top of cream really blends together really seamlessly. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to contour your cheek. So I like to have the person sort of sort of yeah, suck in your cheek a little bit. And then what I do is I draw a little line that goes like from the beginning of the hairline here and just kind of bring it down about, about halfway. And then just blend upwards. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to blend down because that's going to drag your face down. We don't want that, right? We want to look lifted and snatched and gorgeous. 
we want to make our bones like they're jutting a little bit more. Um, you can also use contour like on the side of your nose if you want. You don't really need it, Kayla, because you're so flawless. But if you're in the mood, why not? So you just take a little bit down the side of your nose, blend it in. It really comes down to just finding a product that works really well for your like sensibility. Like if you just want something that is powdery because you feel like powder will work better for you, then go for it. But in my opinion, I think creams work really well. They're easy to blend out. If you make a mistake, you can easily just erase them. Sometimes powder is a little bit tougher to blend out. So I'm gonna use a creamy, glowy kind of highlighter in a neutral color. I'm just gonna take, take it with this giant blender brush and just kind of buff it into the skin. So like in this case, since um, we're gonna be doing like a really bold lip, I'm gonna wait to do your eyebrows last because then I can kind of see what intensity we should go with, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do this like super hot, like orange color. I think it's gonna be so cool. So we're gonna start and just kind of fill in the mouth. And then you use your lip liner to sort of perfect the shape. So at this point, we're just focusing on getting it onto your lip. So now we're gonna take a lip liner that is identical to as or as close as possible as you can get it sometimes it doesn't hurt to go a little bit deeper if you want to give a little bit more of that sort of ombre look or to give a little bit more definition but i think in your case i want to keep it really similar to what we've done so far so i'm going to start on the outer end of the lip and put a little bit of pressure just to pull your lip out and i'm just going to start to define your lip Now we can go back in and add just one more coat of the lipstick for good measure. Loving this color on you, Kayla. It looks so stunning. And I think this color could work on so many different skin tones too. Super saturated, red carpet ready. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start by brushing the hair down first. Because by brushing the hair down first, you kind of see the shape what? of your actual brow. Has anybody ever done this before? I don't know. I usually see people brush them up. Let's brush them down, because I'm going to make it super easy for everyone that's watching. You're going to take a pencil that's a little softer in color than your actual hair. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort of like connect the dots, connect all the little hairs together. So we're going to just start sketching a little line. And this is why it's so important for the pencil that you're using to be a little softer. Okay. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your spoolie brush and you're gonna comb the hair right back up. So by combing the hair up, you're actually brushing that line out a little bit, which is okay. And now you're going to see like what shape we've created. And it's already looking really, really great. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. just that made like such a such big a huge difference. difference, right? So now we can kind of stand back, look at the brow, and then decide, okay, where do we need a little bit more? Like, I'm just gonna fill in some of the sparse areas. So like for you, it's like right here, and I'm just gonna use a very light stroke. I know you have some, oh, some yeah. magic that we can. You know, they always have to be glowy and glistening. And one of your questions, you guys, was what is your favorite drugstore product? Well, one of my favorite drugstore products is this like sort of intensive repair moisturizing lotion. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it creates a really nice reflective glow on the red carpet. Again, we're trying to go for a glow. We're not really trying to go for anything glittery or overly shimmery. Um, so I prefer something like this that gives a lot of hydration to the skin and when the light catches it, it looks lit. It looks nice. amazing, okay? So we're gonna take, um, I like to take a big giant brush like this. We're gonna start on the collarbone. And we're just gonna apply this all over. Love it. Yay! So you're all done and you're ready to go, Kayla. It's a different look than what you would see on Instagram, but it's just as stunning. It's just, there's a little bit more effort put into the detail, like the tight line, the different length of lashes, 
and just kind of holding back a little bit. Yeah. And sort of popping certain features more than you would others. So it kind of creates a lot of balance. And I don't keep saying that way, but I think that's the best way to describe this look. It's very balanced. And these looks are the ones that I always think photograph so beautifully on the red carpet. Okay, we're all done. And Ivan, I just want to thank you so Yay. much for coming Yay. in you look and amazing. sharing with us your amazing tips and tricks on how to get the red carpet glow. Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys learned something new and that you can put some of these tips and tricks into action. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.